Well, the Yankees are at it again. In years after the Yankees don't make the postseason, they become the most dangerous team in baseball. They did it after the 2008 season, spending almost a half a billion dollars on A.J. Burnett, Mark Teixeira, and C.C. Sabathia. And now here they are again, just warming up with Brian McCann and now Jacoby Ellsbury. The Yankees still say they have room in their budget for Robinson Cano. Why are the Yankees doing this? Well, their attendance is down almost a half a million paid customers in the last four years. Their TV ratings are down. You see the aging left side of their infield and Alex Rodriguez and Derek Jeter. And the fact that in 2013, they had their worst winning percentage in 21 years. In other words, it was go time for the Yankees, which means they needed to spend money because their farm system is not producing players. Ellsbury makes them a much better team. There's no doubt about it. After Cano, he was the best player on the market. Now, you can question giving a guy like Ellsbury seven years, and that's one place where the Yankees and Red Sox divert. The Red Sox built a world championship team without giving contracts beyond three-year length. They're doing the same this postseason. You saw them let Jared Saltalamacchia leave for Miami because they did not want to go to a third year. And there was no way they were getting in the game for Jacoby Ellsbury at those number of years. They also can do that because they have something the Yankees do not have, and that's a great farm system. Look for Jackie Bradley Jr. to get a chance to replace Ellsbury in center field. So the war is back on between the Yankees and the Red Sox, each playing by different sets of rules with the Yankees trying to buy their way back into contention at another World Series. And stay tuned for what happens with Robinson Cano. They're not out of that game at all, although now they have less dollars to spend on Cano after giving Ellsbury $152 million. For SI.com, I'm Tom Bertucci.